us to Rise of Liberty. In our last video, we were doing the Battle of Saratoga. So today, we're, as we're going to continue moving down, we're doing the Battle of Lexington. We are playing as the British. Don't worry for the Battle of Bunker Hill and for the and for the next couple of battles, we will be playing as the Americans or colonists, as they are called. And we only use the smoothbore musket, and we'll also be rocking a bow used by Native Americans or the Indigenous peoples of North America. So if you pull up our map, you will see that the Americans are moving in from over there, and we need to defend this little hill. So I'm going to head. I have to find myself. Okay, yeah, I'm heading this way. And hopefully, maybe when I respawn, I will get the um, portable musket, I mean, cannon that we have, or hand cannon. I will try and use it because, as you can see, there are a lot of Americans which I could use to destroy them. Well, I missed that. Oh my god, horrible aim. Okay, let me just hop on this. And don't move! Gone. Yeah, like we have to get behind some cover or something. Yeah, we're going. Get him. Okay, so we are the British, and as you can see, we have a couple of cannons, and we have our fellow Redcoats charging. Well, you can see someone over there is charging. We have a couple of cavalry units over there, and I feel like I've just cut off more bullies. Well, actually, you can tell that we have not actually prepared this much. This is a, well, it feels like kind of a ragtag group, but the Battle of Lexington was actually fought with some knowledge of American advancement by the British troops. But, unfortunately here, they have not set up proper lines and do not have anyone to tell them to when, when to properly fire. So, we mostly get some ragged volleys instead of the perfect ones that we would like to hear. You can see we are tipping the scales a lot. Um, there's one American there just playing the bag drums fortunately we cannot use them so I will not be able to ever use the drums and play a catchy tune as we begin I just want to say thank you for the f for four views on my previous rise of liberty video I know that may sound a bit pathetic to some viewers but since I've only started a couple weeks ago, it is a high. So if you would please consider subscribing, that would help a great deal with inspiring me to continue doing this. I would also like to say I want to apologize because unfortunately I did not buy the I could not purchase the full version of my video editing software that I use. So I see that I'm like five yards, fifty yards away. I was like, oh yeah. So I, I will have that watermark there until I export it, export it. But it was very useful. Um, I'm just, I just like to apologize with the watermark. And not sponsored by the way, just because you know, done it very much. And out, oh, and I'm just, yeah, sorry. So, but hopefully you like the content, no matter what. And I know my mic also sounds a bit bad. But I'm just trying to record and post content with historical background. Mm. Now, with that kerfuffing out of the way, let's let's get back to the battle. As you can see, we have this man rocking the flute with not proper placement of his speakers, but still same thing. And as and a common misfact about smoothbore movements, they actually a common fact about them is. They weren't accurate, like a lot, they weren't really accurate, and there's a pretty accurate video on YouTube depicting them, 
And if any of you are ever in Fort Erie or the Lake Erie area, either in, either in Michigan, the United States, or in Ontario, Canada, I would recommend checking out many of the historical forts that they have there. And I only record just for the fun of trying to bring a historical aspect into games, because everything that you play happened mostly. Also, I will be posting more content. Oops, sorry, I'm out of ammo. So I will be posting more content on Rise of Liberty and Mountain Blade 2. I will start up. I, I, will, I will continue. I'll try and continue the series that I had going. So, any of you who like to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, don't be sad. I will continue. Ooh. Wasn't right there. That was that was that was most likely a slave trying to fight for his freedom. Cut. But he most if even if he survived, he most likely would have gone in because in America, most slaves who fought for the, the colonists also were just returned back to slavery instead of getting freedom. So you also had a better chance of just getting freedom if you fought for the British. Though both sides were heavily racist, and they both produced, they they both used some, they they mostly used, they mostly used slavery for labor. It was a sad part in many cultures' history, and we and we look back on that with monks. You can see over here, we do have a cannon, and as I was just using. The bow is one of the best weapons you can have, considering it has pretty good range and is oh pretty accurate. I was gonna say that, but then he just moved. And as you can see, we are topping the charts. So about about two to seven. So I'm trying to hit this guy, but I can't. So I'm just gonna try and result to smooth bore. Oh yeah, we'll have to reload. Oh, yes, that's a lot of dudes. Um, hey, guys. Okay, yeah, there you go. I have to go around to this guy. As you can see, we do have the musket, so I will try and do a bayonet charge. But that may not be as likely, considering there are 50 guys. Ah yes, the bayonet charge, and something that I would like to point out, in most of my videos, my tactics have changed, my tactics have changed whenever I've been playing, example for my Rise of Liberty games, and my Battlefield 1, and, Battle and soon to be Battlefield 5 gameplay videos, um, my tactics will basically be trying to charge up if I ever have a good enough weapon set, but trying to stay back because, as many of you know, charging into a and also by Herbert von, von Moltke, um, the elder, not the younger, um, he realized that modern rifles, such as the such as the rifles that we are using here, made the cavalry charge useless. And we are going to try and use. Just gonna try and use a blunder a blunderbuss just for some fun here and the hand motor. So we will go back in and see if we can get any kills before. Nope. And it is a British victory. I would like to say thank I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.